Here's your climate outlook for the winter 2022-23 season. I'm meteorologist Tim Armstrong at the National Weather Service office in Wilmington. For the third winter in a row, La Nina will be the dominant climate pattern affecting the Carolinas. La Nina is a natural cooling of tropical East Pacific Ocean water. When La Nina occurs during the winter, fewer thunderstorms develop across these cooler Pacific waters. This leads to a shift in the jet stream that takes storm systems well north of the Carolinas, leaving us high and dry. This suggests we'll have good chances for below normal rainfall totals this winter. With drought already redeveloping due to a dry fall season, there's a good chance more of North and South Carolina will slip into drought this winter, impacting river levels and potentially accelerating wildfire risk by late in the winter. As a consequence of less cloudiness and rainfall, local temperatures tend to run above normal during La Nina winters. In last winter's La Nina, temperatures ran about three degrees above normal here in the eastern Carolinas. While less precipitation and warmer temperatures would seem to rule out snow, measurable snow has still occurred during three of the past five winters when similar La Nina conditions were occurring. This includes last winter, where we saw two snowstorms during the month of January, one of which dropped up to five inches of snow in Bennettsville, South Carolina. All it would take for snow is one storm system to take a track across central Florida, then turn northeastward along our coast while cold air remains in place. But that's not possible to forecast more than a few days out. If you'd like more details about our winter outlook, go to our webpage at weather.gov ilm and find the Climate Outlook link near the top of the page.